Uh, all right guys well this is our second ever kpu smash weekly thank you so much for joining us if you're at home or far away uh we are glad you are here so let's get into our second match winners uh evil luma versus topo kevin um personally about this matchup i think it's like fairly even it's just like when Pichu gets in on um, on Inkling, um, he gets a lot out of out of his conversions, and it's kind of tricky for Inkling to to get Pichu down, like even if they're at high percent, because uh, Pichu has like probably some of the best mobility in the game, and uh, just an insanely hard upbeat edge guard. Um, but Splat Bomb will be taking that first stock for Evil Luma uh, with the lead here. Um, Unlike Pikachu, Pichu can kill fairly easily, and uh, with that up smash, we'll be taking the first stock from Evil Luma. Um, so Evil Luma in this matchup is he's gonna have to like find ways to get around uh, Tapu Kevin's projectiles, um, DI the combo so he doesn't die. Uh, luckily, uh, Inkling's recovery is very hard to edge guard, um, so he does have options off stage. But on stage, as you can see, uh, Tapu Kevin just with two combos tucking the. 55% or 52% I mean but yeah oh and that jab lock from evil Kevin or no, T taco Kevin taco Kevin. I'm mixing their names my brain is fried but uh, we'll be getting quite a bit of percent oh is that up smash Ooh, not getting the last hit of the thunder so not going to take that first stock um yeah oh is that gonna be it oh going for the up smash surprising I thought he was going for the forward smash personally um but yeah uh Oh, double spot dodge. Interesting option coming out for them. Uh, it seems like... So far it's like fairly even. Uh, but like... Um, Taco Kevin has had control for like... majority of the match. Like, getting that second stock right there. Um, Evil Luma just has to make the adaptation though. He's like, he's, pretty, he's fairly close. It's just like... Taco Kevin is... There's a really solid understanding of like the punish game for Inkling. And he's gonna have to watch his techs because if he misses that tech again, like right now, for example, against Oh, getting that second stock, by the way. Um, against um Taco Kevin, then he his stock could be gone for sure. So yeah. Like in disadvantage, he's gonna have to choose his options very carefully. Um back here. Ooh. Oh god. So scary when you're in this situation against Pichu. Um down 90%. Like, ooh, oh god. Splat Bomb, yeah. Splat Bomb is one of the most common ways, which uh, most Inklings have to deal with pressure coming for projectile characters. Oh, and missing that tech right there, so Tackle Kevin will be taking game one of the set. Town and City will be the ban from uh, Tapo Kevin. Yeah. Yeah, dude. 
so let's see where Evil Limo will be taking him. Um, I'm not exactly that experienced with Inkling, so I wouldn't know, but I, I think that Inkling has really good up close pressure options and like really good punish options. So I take them to like a stage like FD personally for me, but I don't know where, where uh, Evil Limo is gonna take him. Let's see where he takes him though. Ugh. Okay, Lala Cruz. So Lilat having um, no more of that stupid tilt that was there in Smash 4, which is really good. Uh, the ledges are still a bit uh, weird, like ledge grabbing in them is still kind of hard, but uh, at least uh, that was fixed. So Evil Luma starting off. I guess, you know, here the splat bombs are better because um, like when you angle them, uh, it's harder to avoid them, I guess. I'm assuming that's the logic that that uh, Evil Luma's using, at least for his flat bombs, but I don't know. Wider stage. Yeah. Down throw? Oh, back throw. Alright. Okay, neutral air? Missing that up smash though. Ooh! Nice! Good timing by Evil Luma getting that down smash and taking Top of Heaven's first stop. Okay. Let's see how Top of Heaven responds. Because Evil Luma, with a lead, is very, very dangerous. Pichu dying extremely early. Being the lightest character in the game. And damaging himself while doing moves as well. So if Taco Kevin... Um, if Evil Luma can camp him out... Ooh. If Evil Luma can camp out uh, Taco Kevin, he can actually... Uh, he can. He might be able to, able to kill him like, like extremely early. Like, like, right now he might be dead to like a roller to F-Smash. Even though he is... Uh, only at 60%. But yeah, oh, order. Ooh. That splat bomb being reflected back at him, though. Ooh, yeah. That's another thing about the roller. It slows you down when you're on the pink, or uh, on the, on the ink, on the ink. So yeah. Oh, what's it gonna do? Forward throw again? Nothing, though. Good job, Evil Luma. Another great shield, Battle of Heaven. Oh, dash attack. Ooh. Oh, not really jumping in. Both players kind of just backing off right now. Not really committing anything. Ooh. And that F tilt looks like a nice trap by Taco Kevin to take that second stock. All right. Well, this could be the last stock for you, uh winner's bracket. Unless he doesn't right here. Pichu is so safe on shield with all of his aerials, like, having very little end lag and hit stun. Like, having a lot, a lot of hit stun on him as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, back here. Unsafe. Gonna get grabbed by Taco Kevin. Yeah, oh, another whiffed grab. Luma. Oh, but he'll be taking that stock and 62%. Can he make the comeback? Let's see. Ooh. Oh. Other. Oh god, that was almost his life right there. Strange, going for forward throw instead of up throw. I thought the up throw up air was a true combo for um for inkling, but yeah, let's see. Forward throw. Probably gonna go for the down air. Ooh, it went for it, but not get not get it. Oh, missed the uh, that crucial punish opportunity right there. Ooh, back throw. Not really getting anything out there. Oh, jab! Woo! It's pretty intense. It's, it's really close to even right now. Pichu dying so early. Of course, obviously. Ooh, up smash. Missing out. Ooh, up smash! Oh, now it's really, really even. What's Taco Kevin gonna do? Ooh! That side B. Uh, not connecting, though. If I if I was Taco Kevin, I'd go for like a safe F tilt or something. You feel her? Oh. Yeah, he's, he's going for the F-Tilt. Ooh. F-Smash? Not really meant for anything. Ooh, and getting that second game is Evil Luma. Alright, we're tied one apiece right here. Let us see where Taco Kevin will go for game three.
yeah, we hope you guys are enjoying uh, your stay right now and are watching with us. Yeah. I'm extremely tired right now, but it's always fun to come to these, so yeah. Same character, let's see what the stage is. Smashville. Okay. Smashville being really hard for Inkling to escape from Pichu from. It looks like Inkling has to play a more defensive game when it comes to the Pichu matchup. At least from what I'm seeing. Inkling's, Inkling's like really more of a mix up and bait and punish character. Not like raw aggression. Pichu has more of a rushdown style though. That is very apparent. Oop, not getting grabbed though. Oop. Ooh, down there! Ooh, oh my god! Oh! oh my god. I don't know if that was a good DI or not enough percent, but barely surviving that insane combo by Taco Kevin right there, Izzy Luma. Dash attack. Not gonna kill. Yeah. Can this be seeing the F tilt most likely? Ooh, up tilt. Interesting. Yeah. I guess he's just trying to catch um, Evil Luma's jump or something. Alright, up smash. Ooh, not gonna kill just yet though. Uses double jump. Oh! Ooh, double jump back on stage with the back here. B bit risky, but yeah. That's still, and that'll be taking the first stock. Alright. Yeah, it looks like it looks like Taco Kevin's just like punishing Evil Luma's uh, approaches. Because they're a bit too like unsafe, I don't know. Like, Evil Luma is just like mostly playing aggressively. It seems like this matchup favors Pichu when he plays aggressively. Ooh. These landing rollers. Um, I have a feeling that they can get like really hard punished if Taco Kevin starts adapting. Oh, that smash will be taking it though. Oh, God. Back here. Forward air. Ooh. Down air. Uh, what? Dash attack. Not gonna get it. Jab. Is there? Okay. Well, I'm gonna do a commentary. Uh, and uh, yeah. See you guys later. Yeah. Is it okay if I board his controller, man?